All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm back at you with another video. And uh, as of now, my uh, my page is GMS Live and Direct uh, Houston. GMS Live and Direct Houston, it, it has a, a strike on it, so I can't uh, upload videos to that page. So I'm probably, this video will be uploaded to our uh, our main page, the the camp page, the uh, street speaking page, mainly street street speaking. Uh, oh yeah, and we got to get on that, uh, that Odyssey. I got a page on there called... Um, GMS Good Soldier. GMS Good Soldier. Okay, so I'll probably upload this video there. But as we as we know, um, or there also, you know, as well as on the YouTube, as we know, we're witnessing the downfall of this so-called white man, okay, Esau. This place is done, man. And the people are feeling the effects of a uh, this fallen empire, you know, they don't know really the average person don't know what the hell is going on. But what's happening is this place is, is falling, you know, it's losing uh, power. And one of the uh, signs of a of a fallen empire is the devaluing of the the, the money. OK. And the rise and prices, the rising cost of living, and really it's not a rise in the, the, uh, the reason why it's a rise in a cost of living is because the dollar is taking more of this devalued money to pay for goods and uh, services. Okay, so I have a quick video I'm going to play. I'm not going gonna, I'm, I'm to play all of it, I don't think. But I'll play uh, some of this video off of the RT News. And then I hit a couple of uh, scriptures and, you know, I close this video out. So, you know, Lord willingness is edifying and let's let's get to it. Whether it's milk or gasoline, the prices of everyday commodities are rising. American families are being squeezed now more than ever. Some voices in mainstream media say the solution is pretty simple. Stop complaining and deal with it. And the dirty little secret here, Willie, while nobody likes to pay more, on average, we have the money to do so. Household savings hit a record high over the pandemic. We didn't really have anywhere to go out and spend. According to MSNBC host Stephanie Rule, household savings hit a record high during the pandemic. We didn't have anywhere to go out and spend. We decided to put that theory to the test. People's savings have gone up? No. Tell me where. No, I don't think so because things are more expensive and we have to buy food and do things like different ways. So I don't think you're saving money, yes. especially with transportation and everything. I definitely feel the inflation, uh, more so on food. You notice the difference like in, in proteins and just in general. It's definitely worrying. I don't know too much. I'm not a great financial guy, but the current state of the economy is a little bit worrying to me, yes. I think a lot of people are out of work and uh, they're spending their savings just to stay alive, honestly. Yeah, what about all the people who lost their jobs? Well, a lot of those people are definitely spending their savings, myself included. What Rules Theory ignores is that since the pandemic, many Americans have lost their jobs or seen a significant decrease in their incomes. The Federal Reserve is warning that inflation won't be stopping anytime soon and that we should be expecting rising prices for at least the next few months. Food banks across... Yeah, and that's I'm I'm gonna stop it right there. Uh, you know, play too much of this video may may get a flag. But things are gonna continue to get worse. In this news clip, they're talking about um, the Fed, the Federal Reserve is saying they uh, expect the, the rising prices to continue for at least another few months. Well, you know, we believe it's gonna continue. It's gonna it's gonna turn into from, or it's going to go from inflation to hyperinflation. Okay? It's going to, it's going to happen eventually. It's, it's going to happen, all right? And as we know, yeah, people are still out of work. And then a lot of people don't want to go back to work 
yeah, there's uh, been a there's a lot of jobs out there, but the jobs are not really paying shit. You know, not uh, see the prices of everything is rising, but the people's income is not rising with the with the you know the price of goods and services, the price of commodities. That's on the rise, but people in our incomes is, is is not going up. We're not getting paid more. You know, there's one is a point in time you can make. You know, you can make anywhere from ten to fifteen bucks in the you know in the uh, late eighties, the nineties, and you could you can uh, you could make a living off of that. Well, down well, I know down south you could. I don't. I'm not sure about. Uh, the west coast and the east coast <clears throat> but if you live down south you could actually uh, make a living you know pay for a little uh, cheap apartment or something like that get you a little car so find a way to save you up some money to get you a car and uh you know we didn't really have you know you, you wouldn't really you didn't really have cell phones and stuff well you had cell phones but you know people wouldn't didn't have cell phones like that you know, but in, anyway, things are going to get worse. Things are going to get uh, worse in this in this so-called country. And not just the country, but the whole world. Because according to biblical prophecy, America is not going to stand forever. No empire will, has stood forever. And America, there's no exception for America. Let's get to the scriptures. Uh, this is Jeremiah 51. I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Yeah, one time uh, uh, America was was um, the leading export nation or called country, if you will. Okay? They were selling uh, American-made products across the, the globe, Right? During the uh, what was it the uh, the industrial age? You got something called the uh, the roaring the roaring twenties, when America was making and making all these different products, shipping them across the globe. Now America has outsourced that um, outsourced that to different third. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use that term, but different uh, countries to make the products for cheaper. Okay, so now America is a is a consumer nation. It's a we're getting a, a importing nation, a nation that's received a bunch of imports and we uh, export very uh, very little. Okay, that one time you could you know things weren't looking like it like it looks now. Okay, that's why the scriptures say Babylon is talking about America, Babylon the Great has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of a wine, therefore the nations are, are mad. Right, part of the wine, or one of the main, wine represents the American way or the philosophy, the philosophies of America, which is um, democracy, uh, borrowing against the future, which is really, uh, you know, a credit-based system. Everything's based off of credit. You borrow now, borrow now, pay later. <laughs> you know, with with uh, exponential, exponentially high interest interest rates on the on the loans, and you pay that back later. Well, you know what that gets you? It gets you in the predicament that this fucking place is in right now, which is it's headed for destruction. You know, it gets you in a place where you can't, you're, uh, you're waddling, you're, uh, what is it? Yeah, you're waddling in debt, debt that can't be paid back. And that's the, that's the sentiment that, that trickled down all the way to the average person. They're drowning in debt. Now, oh, in this video, they said, oh, the, 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 the uh, newscast lady she said, um, it shouldn't be a problem for us to pay for 
or shouldn't we shouldn't be complaining about the price of everything going up because savings went up so much savings went up over the pandemic well there was a um there was a statistic that came out uh it may have been a year or two or man maybe two or three years ago i'm not sure but you can uh fact check it you can go look it up that the average uh i believe it was the average middle class white person couldn't even afford a uh, couldn't afford a five or maybe it was a six hundred dollar emergency meaning they didn't have five to six hundred dollars saved up the average you know the middle class edomite so-called white person couldn't afford a five hundred dollar an emergency so imagine jake so-called negroes latinos and native americans if an average white person which the average uh, white male i believe only makes ten thousand dollars more a year than the than a, than a uh, so-called black black man a judite okay so that's bullshit about you know say we you know people saved up money over the pandemic and it shouldn't be an issue man it shouldn't be an issue for people to pay the high price because they got the savings to do so man that don't make no goddamn sense you know in the real world that we live in it's a it's a struggle you know everybody's consumed with debt everybody's living paycheck to paycheck even if you got your uh, own business you know that's why all them people had to pull them uh them pp they had to get those ppp and paycheck uh protection program those loans they had to get those those loans to keep their business afloat you know and now the nations have going back to the scripture the nations have drunk of the, the american way okay and now it's biting them in the ass. Borrowing against the uh, borrowing against the future. Okay. That's one one uh philosophy that they spread. Okay, central uh, central banking, credit ba uh, working off a credit based system. Let's move on. Uh, Jeremiah fifty one and eight. It says. Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. And that's the state that this place is in. It's falling and it's destroyed. I mean, it's destructed. There was a, uh, I don't know, there was an economic trend person. I, and I cannot remember the name, but it was a video I seen a long time ago. And he said the, um, basically the way the economy is ran, is ran it doesn't even make, uh basic accounting it only it it doesn't make um basic accounting principle sense like according to basic accounting principles the american economy doesn't even make sense according to that it's all a lot of fucking whack why is that because of and you can look this up i know a lot of brothers already know about it uh fractional reserve banking Okay. It says, how for her, take balm for her, for her pain, if so, she may be healed. And the one, the main way that they're trying to heal this place is through uh, borrowing more and more money, raising the uh, debt ceiling. Okay, they have something called QE, the the uh, the QEs, the quantitative easing, meaning print more, printing and printing more money to a certain amount or to a certain uh, time period to ease the economic pressure. So that when what that really causes is uh, inflation, dumping more devalued money into the economy. Okay. Uh, you had the QE one, two, three, QE I believe uh, QE four if I'm not mistaken, quantitative easing number four. Okay, 
You had, uh, what else? Oh, these bailouts. Had the bailouts, the big bailouts in uh, 2008, 2009, uh, which the bailouts was what? The government uh, picking up the tab for, for, uh, uh, for an example, the real estate industry, for the auto industry, and etc. You know, student loans, the medical, uh, the, you know, pretty much the medical industry. And then here recently we had what? These, these big stimulus uh, packages, right? For trillions of dollars, trillions and trillions of dollars. You see? And that's how they're trying to uh, heal this place is through what? Which makes no damn sense. We're in an economic crisis, which people, the average person doesn't understand, you know, and it's showing right now. That's why the prices of commodities are going up. So then, I mean, you got to, if the prices of commodities goes up, that means you have to pay more or charge more for your uh, goods and services. Because as a, as a uh, business, you have to pay more for the, for the commodity. So by default, you're gonna to have to charge more for your your services or your or your goods. Verse uh, Jeremiah fifty one and nine it says, "We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed because this place is not going to be healed; it's destined for destruction." It says, "Forsake her and let every I'm sorry, and let us go every one into his own country," and that's what the other nations are doing. They're getting the hell out of here, cashing in their chips and getting out. It says, for her judgment reaches onto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yeah, and there's a great judgment coming to this place. All hell is going to break loose in this, in this country, man. People are going to be doing fucking, especially Jake. Jake is going to get it the worst, man. Jakes are gonna the Jakes are gonna feel it the worst. The economic impact is gonna affect them the worst. Why? Because we on the bottom. We're the poorest out of all the nation that <clears throat> that that's over here. So it's no it's no it's nothing. There's no bright future for this place. You got stupid ass people that think. Go to the next scripture. Got stupid ass people that believe some way, somehow, America is going to continue and is going to recover and bounce back from this current condition. But if you understood, if you understood the way that the economy is ran, you would understand that this place is done. It's finished. There is no coming back. And ultimately, because the Most High set this place up, he rose it. He rose. He uh, put America in power. The so-called white man, capital of his rulership, America, and let him let this place become great and thriving, and only to take it down to show his power. You can read Romans the ninth chapter. Goes into that. Let's read this. This is Ecclesiastes twelve. I'm going to start at verse 2. Well, I'll start at verse 1. It says, Remember now thy, thy, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. We're in the evil days. Nor the years draw nigh, nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not dark, and meaning this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is available to to the Israel uh, to the Israelites, so that you can be prepared through this through this understanding of the scriptures, you know, spiritually, mentally, to uh, have a strong mind, a hardened mind, for the times that we're in and the times that we're about to enter. And that's uh, Isaiah thirty-three and six. That wisdom it it says wisdom and knowledge shall be our stability. Thy stability. And in the, in the, let me get the scripture in the day of uh, evil. 
Isaiah 33. Verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability of thy times and strength of salvation. See, ultimately, to be saved, you have to be of the elect. Okay? And the elect are the ones that are going to have that uh, mindset but because they have the uh, understanding of these scriptures and faith in these scriptures to uh, endure in these times. Preparing ourselves, knowing that, man, we're going to lose it all. Knowing that all kind of shit is going to happen. And that we're not, we're, we're not, um, there is no, there is no security in believing in this system. You know, we know that the, our only security is going to be having faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the one that the world ignorantly calls God and uh, Jesus. Okay? There, is no, there will be no security in in the American government, in jobs, in this uh, economy, in this man's money system, which is about to is uh, convert to the m uh, the the the, the uh, what is it the uh, electronic tag, the microchip. You'll be able to pay for commodities, goods, services through the MOTB, which is the, that that chip. And there's no security in that. Because ultimately, if you take that, the Most High is going to destroy you. For us Israelites. Then, I believe it's, uh, what is it? Revelation 15 says if you take it, you should develop a sore uh, cancer. Let's see. Where is it at? Okay, I'm sorry. That was Revelation uh, 16. 16 and 2. I had to look it up. Salakia. It says, And the first went and poured out his veil upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark. And this mark is talking about uh, where the mark of the, the MOTB. Okay. And upon them which worship his image. And the image is talking, is talking about the, uh, the Roman system which America is, uh, is under or, or has adopted. Because this is really Rome all over again. Okay? It's the American way. It's the, the Roman system. That's the image of the beast. Okay? And it says the one that took that MOTB uh, upon them is going to fall a, a grievous sore. Okay? So this is what you have to look for if you take that. If you take that. Let's look at it. It says grievous and then it says sore. So the word for sore. Strong's G 1668. Helkos. 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 And it says a wound, especially a wound producing a discharged pus, a sore, an ulcer. Yeah, so this man is going to tell you that this Technology is going to save you. It's going to be your security. And the thing is going to give you a grievous sore. Then you get put to death for you as Israelites. Israelites that take this MOTB. Now let's go back to Ecclesiastes. I believe that's where I was at. Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability, not the MOTB, 
of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is, is his treasure. All right, and then uh, Ecclesiastes. Twelve and three, it says, "In the day, meaning you may get yourself together, come and hearken unto the prophets, which are the mouthpiece of the heavenly Father." That's why it says, "The way you remember uh, the Creator is through hearing His word and taking heed to what the men of the Lord are, are telling you to uh, are talking about," which we're talking about. The understanding of the scriptures and what we need to do in order to uh, to be delivered. OK, the scripture says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the most high Romans 10 and 17. All right. Uh, so Ecclesiastes 12 and 3, it says in the day when the. Keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease. I want to focus on this part of this verse. And the grinders cease because there are few, meaning the employees cease, the workers, the grinders cease because there are few, meaning few jobs. And now, you know, there has been a really an illusion of job creation. But these jobs, you know, they, they really can't suffice or support the cost of living that one really needs to, to you know, to make a decent living. You go get a job, you, you, you're still struggling. So for a lot of people, it's more beneficial for them just to max out the unemployment till they're forced to go back into the, to the uh, workforce. But it's going to come a point in time that this is this little illusion is going to go away. There's really going, not going to be jobs out here like that. And businesses are uh, hurting, especially because uh, they have to pay more for the price of their commodities. You know. Then there, uh, it's a lot of businesses that are waiting on products is the what is it called? Backlogs on, on products. They waiting on uh, commodities to come in, products to come in so they can sell them. But if the products are not coming in, then that means they're they're losing money. You know. That situation going on with these those uh, ships. Sitting still over on the on the West Coast. All right, it says the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened, meaning when people are looking into the future and it's uncertain. And it's, as you even heard on the video on this news clip, RT news clip, people were concerned about the future because the future don't look bright. It's dark days ahead and only 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 the days are only going to get darker. OK. I'm going to end this video right there. Lord willing, this was uh, edifying. And on to the next one, Shalom.